Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm very happy before God also who gave us this precious time uh, to share the heart of God in the morning. Uh, today, let us open the Bible, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 13. Let us open the Bible, 2 Samuel. Second Samuel chapter 13. Yeah, from verse 1. Second Samuel chapter 13 from verse 1. After this, Absalom, the son of David, had a lovely uh, sister whose name was Tamar. And Amnon, the son of David, loved her. Amnon was so distressed over his sister Tamar that he became sick. For she was a virgin, and it was improper for Amnon to do anything to her. But Amnon had a friend whose name was Jonadab, the son of Simea, David's brothers. Now, Jonadab was a very uh, Crafty, crafty man. And he said to him, Why are you the king's son? Becoming thinner day after day, will you not tell me? Amnon said to him, I love Tamar, my brother Absalom's sisters. So Jonadab said to him, Lie down on your bed and pretend to be ill. And when your father comes to see you, say to him, please let my sister Tamar come and give me food and prepare the food in my sight, that I may see it and eat it from her hand. Yeah. Oh, because we want to continue study, uh, this Bible study from the uh, book of Second Samuel. Uh, today in the morning, uh, I start reading this chapter 13. Uh, when I was reading this chapter 13, really I could see uh, how uh, this story uh, becomes so sad. I think uh, you know very well this story. Uh, Dam, uh, da David has a uh, children. And then this uh, Amnon, Amnon is a first son. And also he has a son, Absalom, and Absalom's sister is Tamar. I think as you know very well this story, because the David's son, Amnon, uh, who is a first son, he loved the Absalom's, the Absalom's sisters, Tamar. And then as you read this to the, uh, today Bibles, really uh, Amnon loved Tamar and now is about, uh, uh, he got a sickness. Uh, that's why really he has a uh, difficult, but the time Amnon has a friend called uh, Jonadab. And Jonadab is the son of David's elder brothers, David's brothers. And then this virus say he is a so, um, a su a subtle, crafty, yes. He is a so, um, crafty, crafty man. So now he explain his situations to the Jonadab. And then as you see the way how Jonadab guided him to ask, uh, to pretend he is very sick on his bed. And then he asked father to send uh, the, the sister Tamar to him so that he is able to uh, 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 rep her. So anyway, that is the way how guide. And as you know, this story, finally, uh, finally, this, uh, this Amnon, he did exactly 
what Jonadab said to him. And after he wrecked her, and then again, uh, Tamar uh, chest away, this Amnon chest away Tamar outside. And then when Absalom, he heard that, that his brother Amnon commit adultery, and then this Absalom was so angry, for two years, he keep in his heart, and also he made a plan. And then finally, when he has a, a party, he invited his father, David, and also all the, his brothers, but the, uh, David refused him. He received just heart, but he refused to go his party. But the time he requested Amnon to come, because it happened after two years, David, he didn't have a, uh, too much doubt with this. And finally also, David allowed Amnon to go to the, his place. But the time, uh, Absalom, he had a plan. And when Amnon drunk, the time, they decided to kill him. So finally, uh, they killed Amnon. Right, and then also Absalom, he ran away, and then the time everyone uh, scattered it, and then also David was so difficult. Uh, this Bible say, verse twenty-one, Second Samuel chapter thirteen. Verse 21, but when King David heard of all these things, he was very angry, 22, and Absalom spoke to his brother Amnon, neither good nor bad, for Absalom hate, hated Amnon because he had forced his sister Tamar. So actually this is before uh, Absalom killed Amnon. So while I was meditating this uh, chapter 13, really we can see that why in the house of David, why these things happen. So today I was asking in my heart, what about in the heart of Amnon, when he received such kind of a heart towards his brother, his sister's Tamar, so what about when Amnon, in the heart of Amnon, he received such kind of heart to the Tamar. And then now you can see that who was there with the Amnon? There was Jonadab. Of course, when Jonadab, when Jonadab was together with the Amnon, and Jonadab giving the very, very funny and bad idea, to commit adultery with his sisters. But what about this unknown? If unknown, he could explain his heart towards David. If his heart connecting with David, I think he wouldn't do this way. And they must have another way. And also, Jonah, the, even David was able to guide him in different ways. Or also, David was able to fellowship with Amnon to think again because really in the heart of Amnon, not because of true love to this Tamar, because really we can see that uh, the way how Amnon loved Tamar, it was so flesh away, not true love from his heart, it just for the uh, sexual desire of this uh, Amnon. So if his heart able to explain to David, David was able to guide him in the right way so that Abnon, even he would not finish him in this way. And also I was able to see when this thing happened, what about this Tamar? Uh, really Tamar was so sorrow and she was so ashamed. What about also Tamar was able to explain her situation to Father David. And then also these brothers, 
Absalom, when his sisters go to this kind of challenge, what about if Absalom could come to the David to discuss and to explain how his situation and discuss together with the father David and also find a way to solve this issue. Then Absalom, he could not kill his brother in this way even he could not against David, he could not running away from the, this kingdom. But now really we can see that as we read this scripture, verse 21, also when King David heard of all these things, he was very angry. I can see that he was very angry. He was very angry, but I could not see that also he called Amnon, he called Damar, or he called Absalom, he called and also explained what fellowship or discuss. I cannot see that he did it. And also this verse 22 says, and Absalom spoke to his brother Amnon, neither good or bad, for Absalom hate Amnon because he had forced his sisters Amar. So really I was see, I was thinking that oh, why these people, they just keep quiet and they are connecting with a different way. Really instead of unknown, he may connect his heart with the heart of David and receive guidance from David. He just connect with his friend, Jonathan. Even this Absalom, instead of connecting his heart with the heart of David and come to him, and also seeking guidance, but he kept quiet and he just hate within his heart and he made his own plan, he made his own way. And everyone you can see that what is a result? The result is so, so miserable. Instead of unknown asking the father David, seeking guidance from father David, when he connected his heart with his own friends and receiving in that guidance in that way, really you can see that he spoiled his sister's whole life. And not only spoiled his sister's life, and also he himself finishing in so miserable way after two years. And also he spoiled his other brothers in that way. Finally, Absalom, he again is to not only kill the Amnon, also he was standing in the position to again is the David. And really we can see that uh, what is the result of trusting his way? What is the result of following his way? Really you can see that not only spoiled his own life, even he spoiled other people's life. And he was bringing so bad his sister's Tamar's life, his brother's Absalom's life, even his life. Really, you can see that how it's finishing in miserable way. Even when this thing happened, even Tamar, even Absalom, his, if they connect their heart with the heart of baby, really also they will find a way to solve this issue. But now this chapter 13, you can see that there is no connection each other. There is no flowing heart each other. And when they flow their heart, instead of flow with the father David, they flow with their own friends. They flow with their own heart, with their own opinion. Also that is a trusting themselves, believing themselves, this is a result of following their good idea. This is a result of following their own thought. This is a result of trusting themselves. Because when I was reading this whole chapter 13, really I regret in my heart. I wish, I wish they explained to Father before they listen from Jonathan, before they follow Jonathan, before he decide his heart before he discussed with his fellow people. I was, I was thinking in my heart, I wish they could explain, they could come to David, they could explain to David before they follow their thought, before they trust their friends, 
before they listen their own voice. Otherwise, they would protect such kind of miserable situations. Really, we can see that even in our spiritual life, what is the most, most big problem in our life? Really, where do we connect our heart? When we have a challenge, when we have a problem, when we have a difficult, but not only problem, when you have anything, my heart connect with the Father David. My heart connect with God. My heart connecting with the church or my heart is connecting with my own thought. My heart is connecting with my own friend, best friends. Really depend on where I connect, really you are able to see the totally different result in our spiritual life. Really whole chapter 13, when I was reading, I wish, I wish they could connect, they could ask, they could receive guidance from David. They could see the different region. But really what make them do not ask Father David? What make them do not come to Father David? What make them do not receive guidance from Father David? Because really in their heart, they trust themselves. They believe themselves. Why they trust themselves? Why they believe themselves? Why they believe in their eyes? It is very hard to receive guidance. It is very hard to ask because really unknown in the beginning when he had such kind of desire, such kind of a heart, if he could ask and explain his heart to David and his heart connect with the heart of David, David would explain to him. David would fellowship with the unknown because how David was suffering because also David, he follow his desire. He follow his thought, how he has been suffering. David would fellowship with the unknown. And David gave him another way and another solutions. But unknown from the beginning, instead of his heart was connecting with David, he was connecting with his best friend, Jonadab. And that was the beginning point. And really he spoiled the life of his sister, Tamar, and also spoiled the life of Jonathan, I mean the Absalom, and also he spoiled his life, right? And also this Absalom and Tamar, when they have such kind of things, instead of really keep quiet, and also he has his own plan, he made his own plan, instead of he is using his own way, also come to David and receive guidance, and also express his heart and receive guidance from David, really they would not did do such kind of miserable things and also not spoiling their life. Really, really through this chapter 13, really I can see that how connection is very important in our life, even in our family, even in our workplace, even in our schools, even in our church, everything is the same. Depend on where our heart connect, we are able to see the totally different life. And I wish it also, brothers and sisters, really, really God give us this church. And also Satan give us so many thoughts and Satan try to spoil our life and give us so many instances and give us so many challenges. But at the time, instead of we keep quiet, instead of we made my own plan, instead of we are looking for our own solutions. But really, we can connect our heart together in Christ and really seeking the heart of God and connecting with the wisdom of God. And I believe that God will give us new wisdom and give us grace of God even to solve the challenge and problem in our life. So through this chapter 13, I was able to see how this connection is very important. Where, depending on where we connect our heart, we are able to see the different leisure in our spiritual life. Really, I'm very happy before God, also who gave us this precious time to share this word of God, to share the heart of God. And thank you so much. We finish here. Thank you.